Secrets revealed. Lives changed. Photoshop is neat. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name's Aaron Nays. You can find me on Twitter at AKNaser. Today, we've got some awesome secrets on how to fix some skin blemishes. Now, these are going to be perfect for anyone who's taking pictures of people and they have some like, you know, red spots or some slight discoloration in people's skin, which happens all the time. Um, maybe someone has like rosacea in which like some of the blood vessels in their skin break and it's a little bit more red. That would be an extreme case, but in most cases, you are going to get some redness in a photo. So today we're using an example, an extreme example, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So if it works on this photo, it's definitely going to work on all your photos. All right, here we go. This is our image and this was submitted by Cyril and this was a winner of last week's contest, the close-up contest. Very, very cool image. I love this image. And these are not skin blemishes here, guys. These are uh, what looks to be actual red powder. But I figured if I can make all that red powder disappear using this technique, uh, you can probably definitely use it to actually fix some people's or most people's skin texture. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Basically, what, what I want to do, the whole idea behind what we're doing here is I want to figure out a way to target certain areas and then change their color. So we're going to target areas like this and this and, you know, all this redness in here. And, you know, that's an extreme case, but this is all pretty red here as well. So we're going to have to figure out how to target those areas. And then we're going to need to change them over to a color like this, which is actual skin tone. This is the skin tone that we want uh, the face to be. So keep in mind, this is just an example. I'm using the extreme over here, but this is going to work on all your images as well. Okay, let's just delete that layer and I'll show you guys how we're going to do it. So here is the secret. We're going to go to our adjustment layers and I'm going to go down to where it says hue slash saturation. Now you might be like, well, that's not that powerful. Why? I thought it would be cooler than that. Well, it's still really cool, I promise. Um, and here's the trick. When I'm in the hue saturation, you have your master, which is just adjusting everything, hue, saturation, and lightness. Now, as I adjust my hue and saturation, you can see it just covers everything in the image, which is, you know, pretty much not what we want. Same with my saturation, things like that. It's just covering everything. Let's just undo it. The key here is going to be choosing, instead of having it say master, you can actually choose the color range that it's going to edit. So let's go ahead and choose reds. There we go. So now it has a color range it knows to edit. It's not going to touch my greens, for instance. Let's go ahead and shift the hue of the reds. And you can see the greens are staying the same, but the reds are changing. Now, this isn't working perfectly as well because it's changing the entire face. The range of what it's actually changing is just much too big. It's, cover it's basically changing everything that thinks, you know, that says, hey, this has got some red in it. So what we need to do now is kind of refine that down to say like, okay, you know what? Instead of affecting all the reds, I just want to affect some reds. So this is targeting. We're targeting a certain color group and then we can actually change it. So the targeting happens down here. Now, as I change this around, it's going to start changing my different colors. So from red, now we're actually going to be changing like greens and you can see it's going to change the greens in the photo instead of the red, reds in the photo. But it can be tough to kind of like see what is actually being changed when you move this around, especially if you want to really target some areas. So here's a quick trick for targeting those areas. What we're going to do is I'm going to drag my saturation up and we're going to drag our hue up as well and just make it something look like this. And this is only so I can see what I'm actually doing. And now when I move this slide around, we can see the areas that it's starting to affect, right? I can see that, you know, right over here, there we go, it's starting to affect the plants that are over here and bringing it closer to the left. Now it's affecting the face and it's not affecting the entire face now, it's just affecting parts of the face. It's like a heat map, it's kind of cool. Now, what we can do is further refine this. If I just click right here in the middle of these two points, what it's gonna do is it's going to kind of bring the area down in which, it's in which it's actually affecting. So I can continue to bring this to the right and here, now what I wanna do is basically target all the areas that have that red color. So if I bring this, I'm just kind of sliding from the right to the left and I can see it's starting off on my normal skin tones. We can see the skin tone here and on the nose. As I continue to bring this to the left, it's gonna to start to encompass more and more and more and here it's just about everything. Now as I bring this off the other way, you can see now it seems to be targeting those reds and right about there, it seems to be leaving the skin tone alone and targeting all those reds that are in the image. Well, this is perfect. This is how, this is basically half the job. So first part of it was targeting, which we just successfully did. We targeted those red areas and now we have to work on changing them to match all the other colors in the image or just match the other skin tones. So here's how we're doing that. All right, there we go. Let's go back to where it's, Looks like we're good, okay. And now what we're gonna do is change our hue 
and our saturation. So let's just bring these both back down to zero. Okay, back down to zero, we can see we're still targeted here, but nothing has really happened. Now, this is a little bit darker as well, so it's not just a change in color. This is an extreme example because it's red powder. In most of your images, you won't have to mess with lightness at all, but in this case, we are going to change the lightness. So I'm going to bring our lightness up a little bit, all right, and we're going to bring our saturation up, and then what I'm going to do is just change my hue. So instead of dragging this, like if I drag this hue to the left, all that red powder that's on his face becomes purple. And if I drag this to the right, it should get closer and closer to the actual skin tone. Now, if I bring my lightness up even more, what we can see is those colors are starting to match what's going on in the actual skin tones of the rest of the image. So let's bring that up even more with the lightness, bring our saturation up. All right, there we go. And here we can see, let's bring our saturation down just a little bit. Basically what we've done is completely gotten rid of all those reds in the image, which is amazing. I mean, this is an extreme example, but all those reds are completely gone. Now, there are some areas we want to keep, so let's make sure we put a layer mask on there and we paint black on our layer mask on areas like, you know, the bandana and things like that. So keep in mind, this is a totally normal layer. There's nothing really that fancy done with it. So you can use layer mask, you can change your bla layer blending mode, you can do all kinds of things and still get your effect with changing the skin, color, st skin tone to the right skin tone. Now, the other thing that I would probably do is anytime you're going to be editing, you know, and really pushing color values around, um, sometimes you're just going to get a little bit of area where it's just not very clear. So what I would do is bring your opacity down just a little bit. And there we go. We get something a little bit better. Now we can see this is doing something that a healing brush tool is not going to do this. A clone stamp tool is not going to do this because it's actually changing the color range. So this would be a great first step. If someone has a lot of red in their skin, you want to fix that. And then you have a small blemish up there. Then what you're going to want to do is go grab your healing brush. And if they have like a small mark or something like that, then you can go and healing brush that away as well. And you can see in just a couple of minutes, we have, you know, what could have been completely uh, covered with zits or, you know, red marks or rosacea or uh, your uncle who's been drinking too much his whole life and shows up at Christmas and makes a fool out of himself and reminds everyone that you're a failure. Um, all those things you can fix with just using the, uh, you know, the hue saturation and a little bit of the healing brush, which is great. Photoshop can fix problems in your actual life. <laughs> so there we go. I just went ahead and get, got rid of those. And um, there we go. So here's our color and a couple of the blemishes and we are good to go guys. So very, very cool trick. You know what? And here for the very last, I think we can just finish off in a cool way. I'm gonna bring white as my foreground color and I'm gonna just paint white over top of here. There we go. And we're gonna bring in a little bit of highlight color into the skin. So we're gonna paint white over there. If you guys have been watching Flurn for a while, you know I'm a big fan of this tool called Blend Diff. So we're gonna double click over here, bring up our Blend Diff and I'm gonna tell this white to not be visible while where the underlying layer is darker. There we go. Holding down alter option to do so. And there we're bringing some natural highlight back into the skin so it didn't look so incredibly flat. So we went from this, which is covered in paint, to that, which actually looks like a real, you know, the real base color. And then we went ahead and brought that highlight right back over top. Very, very cool transformation. It didn't take long and you guys can see if it worked on this extreme example, of skin coloration. It's definitely going to work on your photos. Guys, thanks so much for watching Flirt. I hope you love this image and well, this episode. This is a really, really cool image. Cyril, thanks for submitting it. And to everyone else, continue to enter our contest because that's how we get episodes and images that we edit here on Flirt. Guys, thanks so much. I'll Flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Can't you see? Oh, can't you see? Photoshop was made for me.